We got married six months ago. I always wanted a big wedding. <laughs> Ours was the talk of the town. If only you know how much that cost me. Hugging skirts with slits at the back. She used to be super sexy. I used to get turned on just looking at her. Now, see. I found Jesus. See, if Jesus won earth, hmm? tell me, would he have you for a side chick? Pious. What? No matter what you say, darling, Jesus still loves me. They're going to marry Jesus then. Nonsense. You better kneel down and pray for forgiveness. You better kneel down. Forgiveness for what? For the sin against your body. You let yourself go. Oh, not this again. Not this again. Not this again. Look at you. Look at what you look like. Remove your shirt so that they will see. Remove Hell your no. shirt. There's no way I'm Remove your shirt. shirt. Stop Remove it. Your shirt. Will you stop this? Counselor, look at him. Imagine all these things. All these things on top of you. Imagine. I've suffered. Nonsense. She is super protective of her phone. Hello? My phone? And I should be protective of my privacy. My privacy. One morning. What happened? She woke up mm -hmm. and found it with What's me. What's he doing with you? Is it your phone? It is my phone. I can password it if I like. But I could You open should not it. be able to open it. It is my phone. It is my property, not yours. What are you doing with but, it in the first place? But remember. Remember that what? Marriage is supposed to be a thing of you trust. Can, you are not even supposed to open your mouth and talk about trust. You might because have, you don't have trust in you. You might have everything. Yes. But if you don't have that. I, I am even surprised you can open your mouth to talk about You trust. have nothing. You have broken that right? trust a long time ago. A long time ago. <laughs> Listen, um, just for the record, I'd like to state that this is unnecessary. Totally unnecessary. I mean, it's a total waste of our time and resources. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't know you guys made so much money. Honestly, I'm considering a change in career. <laughs> the Upbaras told us you recently moved to a new location. Office location. Why the change? It was really needed. You know, change isn't just constant. Change is refreshing. There's nothing as exciting as a new start. Well, you must have done the numbers on the Akbaras for them to recommend you. So would you say they are your most successful case? If you say so. Seriously. We shouldn't be here. So why are you here? That's a good question. Um, it was our super smart son's birthday. He turned eight. We didn't want to throw him a party. He didn't want us to throw him a party mm -hmm. because he's been very angry with me 
and his daddy, so he wasn't talking to either of us, except his sister Amara. He's a fizz. He will get over it. Mm, that's what the doctor said. We decided to throw him a party in his honor. Mm, it wasn't an elaborate one, but mm. it was okay. We had a few of our friends and relatives invited. Mm, but they had fun. Yeah. We got him this inflatable castle, although my other half here seems to think it was not appropriate. Yes, because he's a grown boy and that gift didn't fit his age. It was age inappropriate. What would you say if I got Amara a doll for her 12 years, 12 years birthday? Well, I will be happy for her and if she wanted it, I will get it for her as well. I mean, her joy, their joy is my joy. Their joy is my joy too. Just that they are grown kids. And if we must give them gifts, it must be age appropriate. And what would you what would you consider as appropriate stuff? Like books, iPad, you know? Stuff like that. It is the 21st century. Kids barely out of poverty are back a master's degree. That's the kind of world we should be preparing them for. Well, he likes his down and his castle. Um, just when we wrapped up, we were approached by the choir. They are amazing and our parents to join us. This suggested that we try this out since it helped them with their own marital crisis. Which is funny because we don't have a crisis. Yes, none whatsoever. <laughs> so why are you here? I will tell you. It was just a suggestion you could have dismissed. Yeah, we, we could have. Um, that that is. I mean, um, it was a suggestion, and um, since it worked for the marital crisis, we decided to take it. Yes, we decided. To take it. 50,000 Naira an hour is a huge price to pay for someone else's happiness. Don't you think? Mm, like I said, we go way back. Um, how long have you two been married? 12 years. 11 years, Collins. 11 years. So, what is your relationship like? That's a tough well, one. Yes, it really is. How do you describe a relationship that spans over a decade in one word? It doesn't have to be one word. But then let's give that a shot. Would you like to go first? No, I don't. I would like it if you go first. Okay, how about we go together in one simple word? Can we do that? Shoot. Grand. Impressive. Majestic. Majestic? Really? What is your relationship like? Honestly, I don't understand that one. I mean, do you talk to each other? That is what we're doing now, isn't it? I mean, at home. Do you talk to each other at home?
We talk a lot. Every time. We tell each other everything. Every single thing. What kind? Excuse me? What do you talk about? We talk about everything, stuff, Couple you know? Stuff. Like, talk about the kids? They're adorable. Amara came first in a science project recently. Second time this year. She's really brilliant. And our son, he... He's special. Underline that word, special. Einstein special. His wisdom is beyond any kid's age. But he's sick. He's got cancer. But I know my boy would outgrow that cancer. I know he would do outrageous things. I just know it. Me too. That's great. But the purpose of this session is to find out what is going on in your life as a couple. Aside the kids, what else do you talk about? Do you take time to find out what is going on in each other's lives? Are you talking career-wide because we both do things, different things? I'm talking generally. Well... What's your sex life like? Well, that's an inappropriate question to ask, madam. That's the kind of stuff we discuss here. Well, I don't feel comfortable discussing such sensitive matters with you. But do you want us to read it right now? Oh, well, it's okay. It's okay. If she doesn't want to discuss it, it's understandable. No, I don't. And let's move on. Please. Do you have any shared interests? Listen, I don't want you to think that my hesitation to divulge such sensitive information is a reflection of the state of our sex life. Don't worry, I, I don't. Then our sex life is, is pretty amazing. Yeah, I don't doubt it. Really? Really, it's beautiful. It's special, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Pretty nice. Um. Do you, Do you want to? Hmm? What? Oh, oh, no. I'm actually working on something from the office. I'm very exhausted. Yeah, me too. Hmm. Okay, um... Good night. Yeah, good night. Um, you, you said you were... stuck in traffic all day. Where did you go? Nowhere important. Just went to see an old friend. Um, okay. Good night. I mean, we we have sex all the time. In fact. We overdo it sometimes. Yes. If we have to rate it from on a scale of one to ten, I would give it a solid six. Six? That's a bit low. I mean, I, I just said we overdo it. But if I give it a ten, that would mean we're sex maniacs, are we? Black one. Shared mm -hmm. interests. Got any? Yes. Yeah, we got quite a few. Mm -hmm. Mind telling me? Like dancing. We love to dance. Well, I, we used to have a dancer's truck to come over the weekend. <laughs> used to.
used to. Well, he stopped coming. I, I really don't know why. No, he probably got a better paying gig somewhere else. But he could have said something. I mean, we had an agreement, and then he looked like a responsible, handsome bloke. Agreement means little or nothing to these younglings. I mean, it wasn't that good anyway. We'll find someone else. What about date nights? <laughs> You find it amusing? <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's, it's rather cliche. You like go out to a restaurant or something? Go and waste money on overpriced foods and leave war? Just to connect? I know some couples who will disagree with you. Well, whatever rocks their boat. All right. <laughs> That will be all for today. That's it? We are done. Finally. I'll see you two next week. Next week? I thought this was a one-off thing. I usually recommend three sessions for a couple. Three sessions? The orders didn't say anything about three sessions. You are under no obligation to show up. But the Obaras didn't say anything about. Do you people have an unresolved issue? Do you? Do we look like we do? All right, kids, here's a story. Uh, there was a boy once, about 10 or 12. He had a little toy that he actually used to control the town. He was a good kid. Hey, you all started without me. Oh, uh, you were taking too long in there. OK. Hey. I'm hungry. What, you're hungry? Uh, didn't we just have dinner? It tasted really bad. Don't worry, I'm going to have a talk with the chef when she comes in tomorrow, okay? Culinary school, my aunt. Hey, language. I'm going to get cereal. Cereal? Seriously? What, you would prefer to go to bed hungry? I would prefer that you actually make them a food if you still know how to do that. What exactly do you mean by that? What I'm saying is that you still know how to go in the kitchen and make something, can't you? You should get your hands Are you hands. serious? I, I have to slave myself in the kitchen after a hard day's job just to prove to you that I care for my children? No, forget it. Give them the damn cereal. No, what exactly? Listen, the chef's salary come from my pocket. 
Here we go again. Here we go again! I can't believe you're doing this. Especially not in front of Amara. All I asked was for you to cook something for them. Feed the student for a change. Is that too much to ask for? I am trying to bring up my girl in a good way. To be an independent woman that will not belong in the school of thought that believes women belong in the kitchen. Gosh, can you go again twisting my words? I am going to get cereal. Do what you like. I said they might end up apart like Sylvia's parents. I don't want that to happen. I don't want us to be from a broken home. Then we have to make sure our parents do not break their home. What do we do? I am. Collins, could you do this to me? I have to pull the plug on this marriage. I can't do this anymore. I can't. Oh. Yes, I uh, I was just replying a couple of emails. Why are you doing it in the kitchen? I just want to be here. Fair enough. Do you need something? Yeah. Can we get a bottle of water? And you always have to be with your phone all the time. Do you think we should talk? I mean, since you got back from that marriage counsellor, you have been kind of different. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, right. Whatever. Hey baby, are you done playing upstairs? I thought you were playing with Junior. Yes, I want to talk to you, mommy. Is everything all right? Do you and Daddy still love each other? <laughs> Who told you about love? And um, where is that question coming from? You guys are always quarreling. Mommy, I don't want to be like Sylvia in school. She's always sad when she sees Daddy drop me off at school. Why is that? Because her father left her mother and went to marry another woman. Mommy, are you going to marry another man? Of course not. <laughs> of course not. Listen, Daddy and I may argue. But it's just adult stuff. Don't worry, when you grow older, you will understand better, okay? Daddy said the same thing, but I don't still believe that, Mommy. We have to. Alright? Junior said you would say that. And do you know what else he said? What did he say? It's always nothing until it's something you can't hold together again. Junior said.
It's always nothing until it's something you can't put together again. Do you and Daddy still love each other? You guys are always quarreling. Mommy, I don't want to be like Sylvia in school. Are you going to marry another man? I don't want us to be from a broken home. Fantastic. She has spoken a lot about you. Oh, really? So it's good to finally put a face to the name. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. sit down. Thanks a lot. All right. Hey. Well, I hope you all brought your appetite because I've got a lot of stuff in the kitchen. Really? Oh. Uh huh. Come on, let's. Come on. Okay. Come on, let's. 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 Come on, let <clears throat> this is really nice, Chloe. Thank you. It is delicious. Yeah. Anyway. Well, your compliment you put to the chef. Chef? Yeah. Um, she prepared the rice, the stew, the, the planting, everything. So, how is uh, work at the Flame Coast? Everything is going well. We're in the middle of an expansion right now. Oh. I could left out a best part. Which is? Your cousin here got promoted. Really? Oh, senior executive. Promotion and marketing. Oh my wow. god. She is the first female to occupy that position in the history of the company. Wow. That's amazing, cousin. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. But well, it's really nothing. It's just more work. Ah, eh? Nah, modesty doesn't suit you, my darling. I'm so happy for you, Kurt. So am I. Mm. I hope it was worth it. What do you mean? All the late nights, all the missed anniversaries and birthdays, just because you were pursuing one assignment or the other. So, did I tell you guys about my journey? It was so, so crazy. I had um, to... It was really wanted. <sighs> yes. Great. So, um, I have to take a flight from Abuja down to... You know, to... if you went to work like every other man, I, I wouldn't have to work as hard as I do. I could be shuffling between five jobs and you still be doing what you love. But then again, it's not about the money for you, is it? <laughs> Collins, the fact that you lack ambition does not mean everyone has to live by your standard. I have got 16 years old nationally and internationally. I have given lectures in a dozen countries. On the back of a book. I dare you to do it again. Mm -hmm. 
You sell cough syrup for a living. For, uh, for the biggest pharmaceutical company in the whole of West Africa. Not bad for a guy who grew up with nothing, would you say? Get over yourself. Well, you lead our farm. You're just jealous. I know. Yeah. I hope you're enjoying the food. <laughs> Are you sure about that, Dad? Oh, Cordy. Of course, I feel like he's the one. Wow, okay. <laughs> what? Nothing. I mean, so long as you're happy. Come on, because if there's anyone I trust to keep it 100 with me, it's you. So what is it? Well, it's nothing. It's just that I feel he's a dreamer. You say that like it's a bad thing. <laughs> it's not a bad thing. It's just that... You know, you can't view the future and those dreams. What but if all his elaborate dreams don't work out? What are you going to do then? Because I remember... Isn't, isn't that how you and Uncle Colin started? I remember visiting you guys at that house at Shomori. It was terrible. So what are you saying? Oh, well, I'm just looking out for you, darling. You're under no obligation to take my advice. <laughs> Talking about advice. Do you want to hear the cold truth? You are not in any position to talk to me about relationship advice. Is it? When yours is going down the drain. Because of the little arguments Collins and I had back then. You call right? that little... Sis, how, how can you call that little? My marriage is fine. Don't worry. Look, you and Uncle Collins might look like the perfect couple out there, but we both know you're not. What are you saying? All I'm saying is you have problem like every other couple, but your problem won't go away if you don't face and fix them. I think we're done here. At dinner. So. Yeah, I was extra too. I'm sorry about the book, book thingy. Yeah, that was pretty low. You'll survive. You know. You know, I wish. We could go back to how we used to be. Yeah. Is that fun together? Yeah, let's try. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know how long it's been? You know, since we. Pretty long. Almost 22 days ahead. Just count it. Thank 
check up our clothes like this. Oh, how did you get here? That is unconsequential, okay? The reason why we're here is for you to undo what you did to us. What did I do? You messed with our heads. We were perfect! Oh, that's an exaggeration. But the point is, we were all right, we are doing fine until we came to you. Exactly. I thought the whole point of seeing a counselor was to make everything all right. We, you did the direct opposite to us. Fascinating. Anyway, I usually do not bring my work home. But since you are here, I will make an exception with you. Please come and sit down. Please do come and sit down. Sir? So, what do I offer you? Offering. Mm. What about you? Nothing! <sighs> you see, I have cancelled countless couples from all walks of life. And I thought I have seen it all until I met you too. Meaning? When a marriage is in crisis and one party will not, will underestimate the severity of the situation or maybe be in tough denial. But in your own case, it is different. Listen, I know that deep down in your mind, you know that something is broken in your relationship. That was why you took the advice of your friend to see me. I want to help you, but I cannot help you if you do not open up to me. I mean, what do you have to lose? I can't stand it. Being close to him suffocates me. Think about this woman. It's a competition. He, he hit a, a career milestone 10 years ago. Ever since then, he's been on autopilot. You know no worst. drive, nothing. You know the worst thing about this woman? She wants to mold our daughter to be just like her. God forbid she ends up like you. You know, it's impossible to have a conversation with her. You know why? Because she seems to turn the, 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 the discussion to be all about her. Oh yeah? Like you have anything important to say. Enough. I know you fired the dance instructor. I did no such thing. Oh, shut up. You did? He told me at the bank when I met him. I just said that you. is enough. God, I never knew it was as bad as this. Okay, Mrs. Madoka, what are you doing this weekend? Nothing, really. What about you, Mrs. I Madoka? have a reunion with the boys. Cancel it. I will not. Cancel every And why will I do that? Cancel it. Both of you are spending the weekend together. Yes, 
That's no right. phone calls, no distractions, no TV, no mobile phones, no social media, and no kids. Just the two of you. That is impossible. And yeah. that will never. I'm sure you know the answer already. Who oh. Staying together just because of the kids is the worst mistake you can make as a couple. Mrs. Madoka. Just a minute. I'm coming. Mr. Madoka, here, have this. What is this? No, don't open it yet. In there, you have three questions. I want you to answer those questions sincerely and truthfully. Wow, that will be all. Thank you very much. Man. Thank you for coming. Um, as an aside, do you pray as a couple? Say something. Oh, really? You're not going anywhere, Collis. I'm talking to you when you sort this out. Because you make more money than me, I still deserve respect from you. You don't deserve respect. You earn respect. You earn it! You earn respect! I want the fool to think that this we could try it out. Oh, well, isn't it too late for you to discover that you're just a fool? I can't take this anymore. All right, you keep pushing me, you keep pushing me to the edge. Mm. Me too. I can't take it anymore. I deserve better. I deserve better than what you're giving me, Collins. I deserve. I deserve. I deserve. Go on. Say it. You deserve better than me. Say it. Yes. This goodie came out of your mouth. I deserve better than you. Thank you for making it true. Then what are you waiting for? Good question. Because I don't even know what I'm waiting for. Let me help you. Let me help you find that person that, that, that's good enough for you, okay? Because I won't do it again. Oh. Yeah? <laughs> I know you have been waiting for a way and having you to go to her. Go to her already! Go to her because I'm done too! You will regret this for the rest of your life. Oh no, yes, I will celebrate this for the rest of my life. Okay? I will celebrate! Please stop it! Please! You promised me, Mommy. You promised me, Daddy. Why? Mom, what are you doing here by this time? I can't get it. Um, baby, babe, baby, come. Amara. I'm 
Junior. Junior is not talking. He's not talking. And that stupid idiot called it and refused to pick his phone. God help me, I swear. If anything happens to my daughter, I'm going to kill him. That is exactly what I will do to you if you don't provide my daughter. Call it break my daughter. What do you mean? What have you done to her? What do you mean? What have I what done have you done to her? You stole her! You stole Don't her! Don't push me! I will do what you call me! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! I am ashamed to be associated with both of you! For two days, your daughter has been out there when they are pedophiles, raping and racial killers without protection, without shelter, and... and it is obvious that the problem with this marriage is both of you. I am so disappointed. I'm going to see Junior. Can come if you want. Please, Junior, you have to tell us. She's not safe out there, please. Junior, please say something. Mommy and Daddy already broke our home. She just left with her own tiny little insignificant piece. I would have left too. I just can't undo the late well. Junior, if you know where your sister is, you can't tell us. I don't know. come to you in prayer for our daughter from the horrors of the night and the pestilence that wasted a new day. Please not look upon our foolishness or selfishness but upon our innocent child. Please Lord keep her safe. Bring, bring her back to us. Yes, we pray. Amen. Amen. God, I just want my daughter back. I just want her back.
Amara just went away with her little piece. Maybe if we put our piece back together, her precious little piece would bring this family back together again. I just want my sunshine back. I want my little sunshine back, God. God. <laughs> You haven't lost it, Nora. Just like back in Shumalu, when you used to use the simplest ingredients and you made magic. That's because you don't know how hard it is. But after I had this job, one has to sleep in the kitchen and you never like to help. You always thought it on Monday that your wife makes all the money. And you will never be caught dead in the kitchen. You know that's not true. I couldn't cook to save my life. And true. I felt unmanly because my wife made all the money, but which man won't? You want to go first? Do you want to? I don't mind. I'll go first. <clears throat> what was your happiest moment in our marriage? Hmm. I can think of quite a few. Just one will do for now. Oh. I will go with the one we moved in together. That tiny place in someone. <laughs> Remember we scraped up every cover just to pay the rent for that place. It left us with no money after that. How could I forget? We were... Those months were the hardest. We were neck deep in debt. I'm pretty sure you're still owing the woman that sells Gary at the junction. <laughs> You know, all we owned was a um, little mattress. Mm. I remember. And we created memories with that mattress. <laughs> and in the kitchen. You can say that again. <laughs> and the bathroom. <laughs> with the shower on. <laughs> Do, can you remember the time we were making memories and the landlord badged in? <laughs> you forgot to bolt the door. <laughs> I can literally remember what he said, how he said it. I can recall his voice is so clear. He said, Mom, oh, so you people still have power to knock, but you're still not paying my rent. <laughs> that was something. Those days were heaven. 
Mm. Now your turn. My highest point in our marriage was the when Amara was born. It marked a turning point in both our lives. That was about the time you joined the company, right? After several rejections. She is our good luck chain. Yes, she is. So the question. At what point do you think a relationship went sour? I think it was the time you stopped needing me. When you started making real money, I became useless to you. But that's not true. I had to literally fight for your attention all the time. It's like nothing I did was enough. Is that why you resorted to cheating? Cheating? We'll call it. Collins, I'm not a fool. I am talking about your Instagram romance with a Sosa. A Sosa. Does that name ring a bell? All the late night calls, the text messages, the chats, the outings. You, you think I'm stupid? I'm no fool. Your password used to be my birthday. We both had the same pattern on our phones. But you suddenly woke up, changed everything. I changed my password and my pattern. A few months ago, when I met Asosa, a book agent, she was trying to negotiate a deal with Amazon Books for me. We were about to negotiate a juicy deal, the first of its kind. And I wanted to gloat in your face. And her Instagram, we didn't have anything together. There was no relationship. Hello? Yes, this is Mr. Collins. Yes, Amara's a daughter. <sighs> yeah, she's been lost for a couple of days. I was about to go to the police. Is she with you? All right, where are you now? It's Amara, I found her. All right, we are coming right now. Wait, where's the person? Let's go, they found her. Yes. It's okay. I was wrong. I was selfish. I was irresponsible. I just 
want us to move on from here. But we can't move on, except you hear what I have to say. When I found out about his also, I thought that you had come back on your words. I was pained. I thought you were taking me for a fool. You know, after the one you did before I had Junior, I thought you wanted to betray me again. It's okay, Rune. I thought it was worse than that. I mean, it's okay. Shh. Just let me finish. I was pained. I was broken. I wanted to get back at you. So I slept with our dance instructor. Did you answer all the questions in the envelope? No. Can someone read the last question? Any chance the both of you can get back to the way he used to be? Change. <clears throat> what? Someone once said to me that aside from change being constant, it's also refreshing. Not more exciting than having a fresh start. You didn't just use my answer to my new office space in this case, because it's not applicable. Change of clothes, change of office, change of spouse is all part of life, so it is applicable. <clears throat> We're going our separate ways. You know, I knew five minutes into our session that you were heading for separation. So then why do you make us go through this? Because I saw that you are still in love and I wanted to help you see it. Well, you failed. Have you told your kids? No. We will have to tell them it's going to be the most hardest thing that we've ever done in our lives. <gasps> That's just Come a to think about it. I don't think we'll be telling them. Then there's a ray of hope. Just hold on to it. I guess our job here is done. I guess so, too. Well, some say that separation is the truest test of love. And it will make you realize what it means to you. Others will say that it's just the end of it. Let's just wait and see what it means to the two of you. Thank you. Your bags, your dad will be here soon. Yeah. Did you put your towel, your sponge, your toothbrush? Yeah. You did? Yeah. Okay, cool.
Give it, give it, give it the remote. That's your dad on TV. Hey! It's really been a long time yeah. since your last novel, which was a great phenomenon of success. And you are out with another broken part. Broken part. Yes. Yeah. It, is it a sequel to the first? No, it's not. So tell us about it. Without giving it away. Uh, sure, of course. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a story about a smart girl who helps her brother okay. defeat cancer while helping her parents who are going through a patch in their marriage and find it hard to get along, even though they still love each other. But they can't seem to hold it together. So did they eventually get back together? Well, you're going to have to, have to buy the book to find out. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. Okay, so do you still have any other book at the pipeline? No, currently we're working on this one. We have a phenomenal deal with Amazon Books, one of a kind, um, and we're looking yeah. forward to actually, I'm working with them and making sure the book is a great success. That's going um, to be a great deal. Yes, it's going to be. I am actually looking forward to that. It's it's okay. something out of the ordinary, out of what what's the norm with them. We are still on Mimike's show, having a great time with Mr. Collins, Madika. We're going to be right back. Stay tuned. Hey. Hey. I hope I'm not too early. No, you're not. We're just watching another of your interview. Mm. I was done like two weeks ago. Come on in. Thank you. Hey, hey. 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 Good afternoon. Mm. Mm. How are you guys today? Fine. Mm -hmm. How are you on TV and here at the same I have got superpowers, buddy. Really? Yeah, I have the ability to be in two places at the same time. Cool. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so how's school anyway? Fine. Fine. As usual. As usual. How are your grades? Not one, not two. I did better than him. I got 95. I know. Not one. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. Yeah, right. Well, that's good. Just, just keep up the good work. It'll be fine. My grade was higher than. I know no, you. No, it yes. wasn't. It was no. <laughs> yes, no. Yes, no. Yes, no. Yes, no. Yes, no. How are you? Yeah, Very good to see you. Hey, too. come on. Let's go inside. I have something to show you. You're gonna love it. Yeah. Right, go on. See you in a bit, huh? Yeah. All right. How are you doing? Someone once said, a change is not only constant, but also refreshing. And that someone else has said, I don't know exactly what you will be. My name is Collins Madison. Would you like to go? Kazi, Kazi. She said she never loved a guy where he knew her. 
So right now she can never trust another. I know be them types, baby me, I be another. I wipe your tears clean, I go give you shoulder. I know that yeah, you're pretty broken from the hurts of your past love life. I know that you're trying to hide the scars with the fact that you want your life. But baby, calm down, calm down. Let a nigga hold you down. Baby, calm down, calm down. A nigga no go make you frown. I just wanna be your soldier. Terminator, no be loca. I go there by your side, I go hold ya. Shoot anybody, we go vex you. You know I love, I just wanna be your soldier. Terminator, no be loca. I go there by your side, I go hold ya. Shoot anybody, we go vex you. You know I love you. Make a give you on the low, baby, no time. I'm not a pretty and she know. Come make a spray you on my top, baby, one time. Yeah, yeah. I go feel spend every day, yeah, yeah. Just to make sure, say you fine, yeah, yeah. You my sweet girl, so make a guard you, my queen. I just wanna be your soldier. Terminator, no be loca. I go there by your side, I go hold ya. Shoot anybody, we go vex you. You know I love, I just wanna be your soldier. Terminator, no be loca. By your side, I go hold ya. Shoot anybody, we go vex you. No, I love you. But baby, calm down, calm down. Let a nigga hold you down. Baby, calm down, calm down. The nigga no go make you frown. Jay.